kids, how are you all? I don't know if you've noticed anything different today. I'll give you a clue. I haven't had a haircut yet and I'm not wearing any new clothes, but I'm not at home doing this video. I'm here at church in the Epic Kids room and I'm very excited because next Sunday we're going to be meeting here at church in this room again. I can't wait to see you all. Right. Now, you know, the last few weeks we've been thinking about friends, haven't we? About how we can be a friend to others, about how we can be a friend to strangers, and about how we can support our friends and let them support us. I'm going to read you a story from the Bible today. And it's about a time when Jesus was at a wedding and he chose to help his friends. You can read about it in John chapter 2. There was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were guests also. When they started running low on wine at the wedding banquet, Jesus' mother told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Well, there were six stone water pots. They were there uh, used by the Jews for washing. Each held about 20 to 30 gallons. So Jesus ordered the servants, fill these pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. Now, Jesus said, fill your pitchers and take them to the host. And they did. When the host tasted the water that had now turned into wine, he didn't know what happened, what had happened, but the servant certainly knew. He called to the bridegroom and he said, Everyone I know brings out their finest wines first, and then when the guests have had their fill, brings the cheap stuff out. But you, you have saved the best until now. now. This miracle in Canaan was the first sign that Jesus gave, the first glimpse of his glory, and his disciples all believed in him. Now, you know, I love this miracle because it shows us that Jesus loved to bless his friends. Because of what Jesus did, his friends weren't embarrassed because they'd run out of wine and the party didn't have to end early because everyone could continue enjoying themselves. So, as you think about this story, maybe this week you could think of ways that you could bless your friends for no other reason than you want to do something nice for them. I'm so looking forward to seeing as many of you as I can next week and hearing all your stories of what you've been getting up to. So, bye for now everyone.